This video provides an overview of corrections education across Washington State. Students in corrections setting have the opportunity to receive the education, skills, and resources needed to support them as they exit incarceration and re-enter general society. The State Board for Community and Technical Colleges, or SBCTC, has an articulated contract with the Department of Corrections, or DOC, to provide educational services to our Washington adult incarcerated justice-involved population. All justice-involved individuals entering DOC without high school completion are required to enter into GED certification or High School Plus competency-based high school credentialing. We offer English language acquisition courses, pre-college courses, professional technical certifications, and vocational workforce associate degrees. Through private funding, we offer academic direct transfer associate degrees. We have several correctional facilities providing academic direct associate degrees through Federal Second Chance Experimental Pell. There are presently over 24 degree and certificate programs available to students in correction settings, including the Construction Trades Pre-Apprenticeship Program that prepares students for entry into registered apprenticeships upon release. Students have a variety of options to choose from while incarcerated, and credits can transfer to a campus upon the student's release. Eight colleges offer programs in a total of 12 correction settings, which are considered satellite campuses for all intents and purposes. Centralia College has programs at the Washington Correction Center and Cedar Creek Correction Center. Clark College offers courses at Larch Correction Center, Edmonds College provides programming at Monroe Correctional Complex, and Grays Harbor College operates within Stafford Creek Correction Center. Peninsula College runs programs at both Clallam Bay Correction Center and Olympic Correction Center. Spokane Community College operates within Airway Heights Correction Center, and Tacoma Community College has programs in both of the women's facilities. Washington Correction Center for Women and Mission Creek Correction Center for Women. Lastly, Walla Walla Community College provides programming in both Coyote Ridge Correction Center and Washington State Penitentiary. As one might imagine, education and correction setting has a number of similarities to education on a college campus, but there are also a number of differences. These differences are reflected in the primary goals for corrections education. First, corrections programs aim to offer workforce-related programs that are in high demand and offer high wages that are aligned to a career pathway, connected to apprenticeships, and achieve completion targets. Ensuring that there is adequate technology and support is of increasing importance. The next goal is to build IT infrastructure that allows education programs to deliver flipped classroom and web-enhanced instruction. Next is the reality that students in corrections settings have a different set of needs as they exit prison to return to the community, including their transition to a more traditional community college setting. The third primary goal is to create a seamless pathway from prison to post-secondary education with navigational support on community and technical college campuses, with crosswalks to workforce programs, and connections to community-based programs. You are encouraged to explore what supports you have in your organization, on your campus, and in your program to support formerly incarcerated students. The fourth and final goal is to develop an Applied Associate of Arts degree and Associate of Arts degree pathway model for incarcerated students. In addition to education and workforce programs, we provide educational reentry support through our education navigators located in all 12 correctional facilities education programs on eight community and technical college campuses and the Evergreen State College. Navigators help students prepare for their transition to college campuses and general society in a variety of ways, including re-entry planning, resources for basic needs such as housing, food, and transportation, and connections to individuals on campuses. A soft handoff to the college is critical to re-entry for students, many of whom may have never envisioned themselves as belonging on a college campus. Re-entry is a huge transition in every way. Students have a lot to juggle as they make their way back into society. The cadre of dedicated individuals who act as navigators both in and outside of corrections facilities are integral to the success of incarcerated and formerly incarcerated students. 
Do you have navigators on your campus? How might you connect with them to support reentry students to ensure they find success in your program? Looking forward, corrections education programs will continue to develop pathways to high-wage and high-demand professional technical degrees that build on existing programs, creating multiple pathways to employment after release that include a supported pathway into apprenticeship. Moreover, we aim to expand education navigators into the education departments at each DOC correctional facility in order to develop a sustainable educational pathway and support a seamless transition to college campus. Of incredible importance is to incorporate the student voice in program planning, development, and evaluation through student councils and advisory boards. Students are the experts on their experiences and their voice is incredibly valuable. Procuring secure and stable technology will continue to be a high priority, including the deployment of secure laptops that can be used in student cells and making secure internet available in all corrections education programs. Programs will also continue to explore creating educational communities within corrections facilities, expanding High School Plus, dual enrollment, and IBEST. Please explore the additional resources available in the Corrections Education Module of Canvas for more information. Of particular relevance to this video are the following. Corrections Education Annual Report, Correctional Education Association, Washington State Department of Corrections Programs, Justice Policy Institute.